we will be demonstrating the prone positioning of an intubated pregnant patient. Note there are five to six assistants, one at the head of the bed, two on each side, and one at the foot of the bed if available. All movements will be made at the direction and count of the respiratory therapist or lead personnel at the head of the bed. This person is responsible for ensuring the security of the ET tube and support of the head and neck. For the prone maneuver, the patient will be turned towards the ventilator. First, a flat sheet will be placed underneath the patient by rolling the patient to one side, placing the sheet underneath so that it may, may be passed to the other side, and then rolling to the opposite side to complete the placement of the lower sheet. Once the patient is returned to the supine position, monitors including EKG electrodes may be removed. Next, three sets of pillows will be placed on the patient. The first two pillows are placed on the chest above the gravid abdomen, the second two over the pelvic area below the gravid abdomen, and the third set over the lower legs. A second flat sheet will then be placed over the pillows and the patient. The assistants on each side will roll the two sheets together towards the patient, encasing her in the cocoon fashion. The sheets must be rolled tightly to ensure stability of the pillows during turning. Again, all maneuvers will be made at the direction and count of the person at the head of the bed. The next maneuver is to slide the patient away from the ventilator. The patient will then be rolled onto her side by the assistants on the ventilator side pushing under while the assistants on the opposite side push over. The person at the foot of the bed will help guide the feet. Once on her side, the assistants will switch hand position prior to the final prone maneuver. The assistants towards the ventilator will have their hands on top and pull forward and downward, while the assistants on the opposite side pull upward. Once prone, the head should be turned to one side and supported. Monitors can be replaced and the ET tube checked for security and patency. Pillows may be adjusted as needed. Next, we will check for space between the abdomen and the bed to ensure that the uterus is offloaded and fetal monitors can be placed. The arms can be positioned towards the head, down to the side, or one of each in the so-called swimmer's position. The head should be turned and the arms repositioned every two hours to avoid skin abrasions and pressure ulcers. All maneuvers can be reversed to return the patient to the supine position.